The wonderful thing about praying is that you leave a world of not being able to do something, and enter God's realm where everything is possible. He specializes in the impossible. Nothing is too great for his almighty power. Nothing is too small for his love. If you look at the world, you'll be distressed. If you look within, you'll be depressed. If you look at God you'll be at rest. Never be afraid to trust an unknown future to a known God. Worrying is carrying tomorrow's load with today's strength carrying two days at once. It is moving into tomorrow ahead of time. Worrying doesn't empty tomorrow of its sorrow, it empties today of its strength. Jesus did not promise to change the circumstances around us. He promised great peace and pure joy to those who would learn to believe that God actually controls all things. When a train goes through a tunnel and it gets dark, you don't throw away the ticket and jump off. You sit still and trust the engineer. Forgiveness is setting the prisoner free, only to find out that the prisoner was me. In order to realize the worth of the anchor we need to feel the stress of the storm. Faith sees the invisible, believes the unbelievable, and receives the impossible. Hold loosely to the things of this life, so that if God requires them of you, it will be easy to let them go. You can never learn that Christ is all you need, until Christ is all you have. Trying to do the Lord's work in your own strength is the most confusing, exhausting, and tedious of all work. But when you are filled with the Holy Spirit, then the ministry of Jesus just flows out of you. Forgiveness is the key that unlocks the door of resentment and the handcuffs of hatred. It is a power that breaks the chains of bitterness and the shackles of selfishness. This is what the past is for. Every experience God gives us, every person he puts in our lives is the perfect preparation for the future that only he can see. The devil smiles when we are up to our ears in work, but he trembles when we pray. I pray to dispel my fear, until suddenly, and I do not know how the idea came to me, I began to pray for others. I prayed for everyone who came into my thoughts, people with whom I had traveled, those who had been in prison with me, my school friends of years ago. I do not know how long I continued my prayer, but this I do know, my fear was gone. Interceding for others had released me. Happiness isn't something that depends on our surroundings. It's something we make inside ourselves. Is prayer your steering wheel or your spare tire? You see, a potter can only mold the clay when it lies completely in his hand. It requires complete surrender. The safest place to be is in the center of God's will. When you want to work for God start a committee. When you want to work with God start a prayer group. There is no pit so deep, that God's love is not deeper still. Don't bother to give God instructions, just report for duty. Don't pray when you feel like it. Have an appointment with the Lord and keep it. Worries carry responsibilities that belong to God, not to you. Worry does not enable us to escape evil, it makes us unfit to cope with it when it comes. Forgiveness is not an emotion, it is an act of the will. We must mirror God's love in the midst of a world full of hatred. We are the mirrors of God's love, so we may show Jesus by our lives. The measure of a life, after all, is not its duration, but its donation. The amount of God's love is unlimited, but we only receive as much as we use. When a Christian shuns fellowship with other Christians, the devil smiles, when he stops studying the Bible, the devil laughs. When he stops praying, the devil shouts for joy. 
If you want to hear God's voice clearly and you are uncertain, then remain in his presence until he changes this uncertainty. Often much can happen during this waiting for the Lord. Sometimes, he changes pride into humility, doubt into faith and peace, sometimes lust into purity. The Lord can and will do it. When we are on the beach we only see a small part of the ocean. However, we know that there is much more beyond the horizon. We only see a small part of God's great love, a few jewels of his great riches, but we know that there is much more beyond the horizon. The best is yet to come when we see Jesus face to face. Worry does not empty tomorrow of its sorrow. It empties today of its strength. When people come up and give me a compliment, I take each remark as if it were a flower. At the end of the day, I lift up the bouquet of flowers I have gathered throughout the day and say, Here you are, Lord, it is all yours. There is no panic in heaven. God has no problems, only plans. It is not my ability, but my response to God's ability, that counts. When I try, I fail. When I trust, he succeeds. As a camel kneels before his master to have him remove his burden at the end of the day, so kneel each night and let the master take your burden. Any concern too small to be turned into a prayer is too small to be made into a burden. God buries our sins in the depths of the sea and then puts up a sign that reads, no fishing. Do you know what hurts so very much? It's love. Love is the strongest force in the world, and when it is blocked that means pain. There are two things we can do when this happens. We can kill that love so that it stops hurting. But then of course part of us dies, too. Or we can ask God to open up another route for that love to travel. What wings are to a bird, and sails to a ship, so is prayer to the soul. Father sat down on the edge of the narrow bed. Corrie, he began gently, when you and I go to Amsterdam when do I give you your ticket? I sniffed a few times, considering this. Why, just before we get on the train? Exactly. And our wise Father in heaven knows when we're going to need things, too. Don't run out ahead of him, Corrie. When the time comes that some of us will have to die, you will look into your heart and find the strength you need just in time. If the devil cannot make us bad, he will make us busy. Nobody can take away from you those texts from the Bible which you have learned by heart. You know, eternal life does not start when we go to heaven. It starts the moment you reach out to Jesus. He never turns his back on anyone. And he is waiting for you. The School of Life offers some difficult courses, but it is in the difficult class that one learns the most. God, make me willing to be made willing. God never measures the mind. He always put his tape measure in the heart. I have experienced his presence in the deepest hell that man can create. I have really tested the promises of the Bible, and believe me, you can count on them. Discernment is God's call to intercession, never to fault-finding. The marks of true repentance are, acknowledgement of wrong, willingness to confess it, willingness to abandon it, and willingness to make restitution. The tree on the mountain takes whatever the weather brings. If it has any choice at all, it is in putting down roots as deeply as possible. Each new day. If it's dark everywhere, you can become so discouraged. You might doubt whether light still exists. But even if you can't see the Lord, he sees you and me. Jesus said, and surely I am with you always, to the very end of the age, Matt. 28 colon 20, when it's necessary, he suddenly says, I'm still here. 
Worry is an old man with bended head, carrying a load of feathers which he thinks are lead. What a sad mistake we sometimes make when we think that God only cares about Christians. When we are powerless to do a thing, it is a great joy that we can come and step inside the ability of Jesus. Don't worry about what you do not understand. Worry about what you do understand in the Bible, but do not live by. Hold everything in your hands lightly, otherwise it hurts when God pries your fingers open. Which quote did you like the most? Share your opinion in the comments below. Subscribe and don't miss out the chance to see the next video.